so pissed. I am so pissed. I am so pissed. After seeing the Batman yesterday and kind of having an underwhelming experience, I was hyped up by that movie. I've been waiting for it to come out. And last night, it was just kind of not what I was expecting. It was a little bit boring and did not really deserve to be a three hour movie. And then I come to work today and I'm scrolling through my phone and I see this. And I know what you're thinking. I saw the title of your video. Is this just going to be a rant about how you're unhappy with the new Captain Kirk? About how you don't want a new actor playing Captain Kirk? Especially some bloke from the Vampire Diaries? No. I couldn't care less. And ever since we saw Captain Pike, it's definitely been something that all Star Trek fans knew was going to happen at some point. It is just so disappointing seeing this headline today. Imagine, okay? You're watching Mandalorian Season 1 and it gets to the season finale episode and you see that dope-ass scene where Luke Skywalker comes aboard the starship, pops out his green lightsaber, and he single-handedly saves himself from the new Disney trilogy and just is a total badass and is the real Luke Skywalker as he should be depicted with modern graphics and modern technology. And then we did have Captain Pike in season two of Discovery, and we also had Captain Riker appearing in the season finale of the new animated show Lower Decks. But I am just so unbelievably disappointed that Alex Kurtz managed to get this shit leaked. Imagine if you went to go watch that Luke Skywalker episode and you had already known that Luke Skywalker was going to show up in The Mandalorian about, I don't know, a year before the damn episode comes out. Today, it has been leaked because... <sighs> I've never truly been mad at Alex Kurtzman, New Trek. I've never been truly mad at them until I think today. There are so many people out there who are long life Star Trek fans who would probably take Alex Kurtzman's life if they had the opportunity. I read some comments of people on the internet and it honestly seems like Alex Kurtzman killed their grandma. I've never felt that way. I've never had a gripe against Alex Kurtzman. I think he can be a bit of a bozo. If Star Wars, which is a franchise infinitely bigger, has more money and is way more well liked than Star Trek, if they can keep the Luke Skywalker live action reveal under lock and key, why key? Why? Why am I finding out about James T. Kirk's casting today, like at easily a year before I'm about to see this season? Do you want to know why? Because they decided to film some of Strange New Worlds in Toronto. There is one of the new female characters who's aboard the Enterprise, who's on Pike's Enterprise, and she looks really cool and everything. And then you see Paul Wesley there right next to her and they're filming in the city in the modern era in our modern time this for one thing just spoils the entire episode why do you guys have to go film in a city especially one like toronto and on top of that why does james kirk has to be oh my god i am just upset beyond belief i just feel like something was stolen from me i feel like as a star trek fan i have the right to be surprised by castings i have the right to be surprised by the fact that james kirk is going to be returning to star trek in live action it is actually the most important character in all of Star Trek is James T. Kirk. If you say it's Picard, you're fried. Picard is the best captain ever. He's probably a better character than James Kirk for sure. But James Kirk, he's the gold Roger of Star Trek. He's the legendary figure, James Kirk. Him coming back and being reprised in this fashion, it's the biggest thing Alex Kurtzman can do. He cannot do something bigger than this. Bringing back James T. Kirk, reviving him as a character, nothing. It is just so frustrating to me that like, like, this has been robbed. They wrote this stupid episode. They knew this was going to get leaked. How are you going to put James T. Kirk in the middle of basically Canada's Times Square equivalent and not expect people to get suspicious? And because people took photos, they posted it online, then that's when all of Star Trek Alex Kurtzman decided to just, okay, we're going to make a statement. This isn't going to be a surprise anymore. This is leaked. But at the same time, you guys are just asking for it. Why am I getting this leak? I am in no way upset by this new casting of James T. Kirk. I've been excited for it. I've wanted it to happen. And also, this actor looks great. He really has a nice face. I haven't really seen any of his other roles. I don't watch Vampire Diaries. I'm excited for another Captain Kirk. I'm not criticizing bro at all. I'm criticizing the fact that this stuff got leaked to me. This early. And another thing, I read some article that really had me scared. They're like, oh, James T. Kirk is going to be coming in season two, and he's going to be like a reoccurring character on the show. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. It almost seems like they're writing it as though Kirk is going to be like taking over the Enterprise next season, and it's not going to be Captain Pike show, and it's going to be a modern TOS, like a remade TOS, which nobody wants, by the way. Let's be clear. Nobody wants anyone to take the original series. Nobody wants them to make a new original series 
series with all new actors. It cannot be done. It's horrible. The closest thing that's even remotely close to that is that there is a Star Trek series called Star Trek Continues. It's a fan-made series where they actually try their hardest to totally recreate everything about the original series, and the actors are really good. They're extremely passionate, but at the same time, those aren't the same actors. So even when you're trying to totally copy what the TOS is doing, word for word, bar for bar, it still doesn't feel completely right. And then on top of that, if you try to make it new and you try to bring in these new writers and these new actors and everything, it's just not going to work. It's going to be trash. The original series would not work in today's era, but I reread the Trek movie article and it actually explained to me like where this is on the timeline and how Kirk isn't going to be taking over the Enterprise for another six years. It would be very cool to see Kirk get to see scenes of him throughout the series like doing stuff, but I don't want him to be a real character on the show. Not only that, but having James T. Kirk being an actual crew member of the Enterprise would definitely be a canon mistake, like no way in hell. James T. Kirk would definitely mention that he served aboard the Enterprise before captaining it, like for an extended period of time. But anyways, yeah, I'm just completely irate. Alex Kurtzman, you should have had this shit on lock. You shouldn't have put yourself in this position where you are going to put your new crazy awesome reveal character in the middle of a goddamn city for a photo op. Are you kidding me? You're a bozo. I'm extremely disappointed in this. I was going to work on my Kira pregnancy video so that I could release it before tomorrow's reviews because we actually have season finale of Discovery tomorrow and we have another episode of Picard. I'm really excited to review this. But instead, I decided to come home and rant and scream into my camera because, dude, I just feel like I've had something robbed from me as a Star Trek fan. Star Wars fans get to have all their crazy cameos and reveals, the Cad Bane, Luke Skywalker, and we get to see it that night. They film out in the middle of a desert and they actually make the people who work on the show sign MDAs and they're smart about it and they do it properly. I get that they're going to do like a James T. Kirk goes back in time with one of the crew members and goes to Toronto or New York. Uh, that's a really cool episode idea, but do it in season three after he's already been revealed. I literally hate you guys for this. I literally hate you guys for this. I may just be bitching and whining. You guys may think that, oh, Gannon, you're just a little kid. You're crying in front of a camera. I'm so sorry your character got spoiled, but bro, this isn't just some character cameo that got spoiled. I would be like slightly mad if one of the old TNG characters was coming back to Picard and that got spoiled like Jordy or Gates McFadden was coming back as Beverly Crusher and that got spoiled. I'll be kind of salty at that, but this has made me mad enough to the point where I want to make a video. You guys are bad at making television if you cannot get this under wraps and to be honest, it just seems like you did this by design like you didn't even give a f You literally put the dude right in the middle of Toronto. Why? Just why. I deserve to find out that James T. Kirk is going to be like showing up in an episode the night of. That should be the reason I come over here and jump in this chair and go, Wah! Fuck, I love Star Trek! Oh my god, Alex Kurtzman, you're a go! But no, Alex Kurtzman, you decided to put Paul Wesley in the middle of a city surrounded by cameras! Damn it! Damn it! That being said, I'm so excited for Strange New Worlds. I hope it's gonna be the best Star Trek show ever, ever since I became like a really passionate Star Trek fan and I saw the new Christopher Pike played by Anson Mount. Uh, he's just inspirational. He's an inspiring character. I love him and I've just been waiting for Strange New Worlds forever. I love it. I think it's gonna be great. I'm just disappointed by showrunners. The showrunners of Star Trek really dropped the ball. I think if Star Wars, which is an infinitely bigger franchise, can keep something like that under lock and key and make it a secret, I believe that you guys can too. And then when I read this article and realize that you just put this character in the middle of just Canada's biggest city, I just think you guys are a bunch of bozos and I don't think you really know how to do reveals at that rate. But what do you guys think? I'm just really disappointed. I needed a rant in front of my camera. I don't like how James T. Kirk's casting was spoiled so soon. I don't like knowing that he's going to show up in season two. I would have liked to find that out while watching season two. I don't like how everything is just super leaked these days. It's grotesque. They're not making it any easier for these showrunners to hide these leaks, but at the same time, when I see an article like this, it just makes me think that the showrunners are a bunch of bozos. What do you guys think, though? Do you think that I'm just bitching and whining for no reason, or do you think I actually have reason to be upset at this? Are you upset at this like me? I do not like that this was spoiled for me, and I just feel like this takes away from a moment I could have had. But with all that being said, I'm going to edit this, I'm going to eat some dinner, and I'm going to prepare my body for tomorrow's Star Trek reviews. I'm very much looking forward to them. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, so if you subscribe to the channel, know that when I get a thousand subscribers, I'm going to get a neck tattoo. So if you want to see me potentially embarrass myself, be sure to slap that big red button. Please leave a comment down below about literally anything. It could be something totally not related to this video. I don't care. Just leave a comment. Comments are my favorite thing. Literally 
in the entire world. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Live long and prosper. Great.